Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have been given this big rectangle that consists of three individual rectangles as you can see in this diagram such that the area of this yellow rectangle is 177 centimeters square and the area for this purple rectangle is 111 centimeter square and moreover this uh, distance uh, is 29 centimeter whereas this uh, distance is 23 centimeter now we are going to calculate the total area of all these three rectangles please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our strategy we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle first so therefore let me go ahead and call this uh, area of this uh, green rectangle as a now let's assume that the width of this uh, big rectangle is uh, x centimeter and then this side is going to be x centimeter as well then these sides are going to be x centimeter as well and now let's focus on these two left rectangle that I have shaded. Now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. So the total area of this shaded region is going to be 177 plus A. I'm going to write down 177 plus A equals to our length is 29 so i'm going to write down 29 times our width is x so therefore this equation could be written as 177 plus a equals to 29 x let me call this equation as equation number one and now let's focus on these two right rectangles that I have shaded and the total area of these uh, shaded region is going to be a plus 111 so therefore the area of this uh, shaded right uh, two rectangles is going to be 111 plus uh, a equals to we know that the area equals to length time width our length is 23 and our width is x so this is equal to 23 times x let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and now let's go ahead and subtract equation two from equation one and here i have copied down these two equations and now let's go ahead and subtract so therefore i'm going to change the sign of this one from neg positive to negative and we can see this positive a and negative a they are gone it's going to give us 66 equals to 6x so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 6 in order to isolate x is 6 and 6 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 11 centimeter so therefore this x value this width is going to be 11 11 11 and this one 11 as well and now in this next step we are going to substitute this x equal to 11 value in this uh, equation one and here's our equation one let's go ahead and uh, substitute uh, x value so this is going to give us 177 plus a equals to 29 times 11 and now if we multiply 29 times 11 that's going to give us 319 and now let's subtract 177 from both sides this is gone so our a value turns out to be 142 centimeter 
square since a represents the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle so therefore the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 142 centimeter square as you can see over here and here's our final steps so the total area of all these rectangles is going to be the sum of these three individual rectangles this uh, area of yellow rectangle area of this uh, green rectangle and this uh, area of purple rectangle and the area for each yellow rectangle is uh, 177 let me go ahead and write down 177 plus green is 142 plus finally this purple is going to be 111 and if we add them that is going to give us 430 cm square so thus the total area turns out to be 430 cm square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye